It is time to do a microbrand Monday from the streaming setup. What? Oh! What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at one of Vayer's newer offerings. Now, for my longtime viewers, you will recall that I've reviewed a watch from a little company called Vare before, and it was kind of your basic run-of-the-mill field watch. It was solid. It didn't really knock my socks off. It wasn't anything like super duper crazy. It was quartz. I remember it had a threaded crown, and it was kind of... Yeah, just a very basic entry-level field watch. Uh, if you want to watch that episode, click up here in the corner and I'll uh, leave a, a little boop that you can click on. But they've written to me recently saying that they've upped their game. And I was like, okay, I've heard that before. I've heard it many times before. Many a time has a company told me, but time to, we've changed. It looks like they actually have changed, okay? I'm wearing one of their D7 uh, Arctic Swiss Divers. Really, really, really impressive, especially because I've looked at some of their earlier watches here on the channel. Now seeing this years later, man, there's a lot to go over, so let's just get into it. It is 1.06 p.m. Let's get down to business. All right, guys, so we're taking a look at these Vare divers. They have a bunch of different variations to choose from, but uh, when we're looking at this Arctic diver, um, they have two kind of sub-variants. They have the D5, which is a US-assembled watch for $4.99, or they have the D7, which is the Arctic Swiss diver, which is Swiss-made, and this is $7.99. So now we've gone over the price, let's take a look at what you get for that price. Now I have the spec sheet right here in front of me. This is one of the benefits of doing this from the streaming setup. I can just take a look at it. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do something I've never done before on a Microman Monday. Check that out. Hmm, I can show you what I see. D7 Arctic, 39 millimeter case diameter, 40 millimeter bezel diameter. We're gonna talk about that bezel in a second. Um, let's see, 316L stainless steel. It has a sapphire exhibition case back, so the display case back crystal is sapphire. Uh, double domed sapphire crystal, ceramic with loom bezel insert. Uh, the lug to lug's 48 millimeters. Uh, with the crystal, it's 13.7 millimeters thick, 200 meter water resistance rating, 84 gram strap, uh, 66 gram case weight, Salida SW200 automatic movement. Of course, you're getting hacking hand wind. Minus 15 to pull, or excuse me, minus five plus 15 second per day accuracy. And the loom is Super Luminova X1 C1. The core features now is that it's made in Switzerland, guaranteed waterproof warranty, 24 month warranty, polished high chamfering on the case and lugs, satin brush stainless steel case, Vare engraved on the crown. Again, the Salida 28,800 BPH sweep, hacking seconds, parashock, anti shock system, screw down case back. Also, this does have a threaded crown. Um, yeah, so this seems to be a very competent diver, but what are the pros and cons? Well, the first pro I would give this watch is that it's kind of everything you need, nothing you don't, right? A lot of microbrand divers, and there are a lot of microbrand divers out there, um, they kind of throw everything but the kitchen sink in there. They try to get, you know, they try to one-up each other by doing these crazy designs, and, uh, you know, I'm not a fan of things like meteorite dials, but a lot of them throw in those, and, and a lot of people like that added pizzazz, and that's all well and good. For me, seeing something that's kind of simple without being boring, uh, that's like the sweet spot, right? And Vare kind of nailed it with this one. So there's enough going on here that it's pleasing to the eye without it being just kind of ho-hum. So here's kind of my list of pros as far as the visual beauty goes. Uh, the applied indexes are gorgeous, how they they really truly do pop off of that clean black dial. I like the faux patina. I know some people think faux patination is stupid. I love the broad uh, handset, uh, the bezel, the serrations on the bezel remind me a lot of my uh, 16800 Submariner. Um, it's just that really old school serration. And again, with that bezel, being a couple millimeters wider than the case, you really get a good purchase on it, and... Little ASMR. I give this my seal of approval for pizza roll timing. Gato, throw it up there. Um, you get some really nice purchase 
on that bezel. You can actuate it. It's not going to back out on you. It's just very, very nice. Uh, there is some signage on the dial, of course, saying there, and then the uh, 660 feet, 200 meter automatic Swiss made. This is very standard for divers. It's enough without being too much, in my opinion. I also really love the lack of crown guards, okay? So while this doesn't have crown guards on the case, it does have a recessed crown. So the crown kind of sits in to that case, giving it some protection, makes it feel solid. And again, that crown is threaded. And my final kind of favorite thing about the watch actually is the crystal. This double domed crystal and how it just lays atop that bezel, the bezel just flows into that crystal arc. Um, it's just very, very pleasing to the eye. Uh, you get to see some of that AR coating um, and a little bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of distortion. It just looks very, very good. But it's not perfect, okay? So now we get into the cons. The first con is that, uh, again, what I kind of added to the Pro, it's, it's enough without being too much and it's not too little. But some people might look at this and say, well, that's boring. If I'm going to buy a micro brand diver, I want it to be one of these, like, like a Zelos Abyss 2 or something like super out there and, and crazy. And that's fine. Different strokes for different folks. So I think the first con would be that this might be a bit too vanilla for some people. The second con is with this Salita, which is the one I would choose. To be clear, this is the variant I would choose, the D7, the Salita. The price for this is not what I would consider. Okay. It's not what I think most people would consider entry level, right? I think a lot of people now consider entry level anything kind of under $500. So this getting closer to a thousand, um, you know, there's a lot of options in that price range when we're looking at entry level divers. So I don't know if that's really a con, but it's, it's just something might be sticker shock to some people. Um, although let's be honest, we reviewed a lot of micro brands on this channel that they're just crazy expensive for what I, what I think you get. And the final con is I wish it had drilled lugs. Real missed opportunity there, Vare. You could have put drilled lugs on this and it would have been such a solid, just perfect diver. Doesn't have drilled lugs, so I can't say that it's perfect, but still a great watch. Wish it had drilled lugs. So in conclusion, what do I think? Well, all in all, Vare really did step up their game. So when they wrote to me and they said, hey, time teller, We've gotten bigger, we've gotten better, we've changed. We've changed. I believe them, and this is proof of it. And one thing I'll say is I really do appreciate that they kind of run the gamut when it comes to their product pricing. There's kind of something for everyone there. They have some variants of these divers that are under $400 even. So um, if you don't want to shell out the money for this Salita variant, you got options. But guys, as always, let me know what you think about all of this. Uh, do you have any Vair watches? Uh, do you have experience with their divers? Do you have the field watch that I reviewed years and years ago? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And guys, I want to thank everybody for the overwhelming support on my other channel, things that keep me up at night. We're already over 700 subscribers and the channel's only been up for like a week or so at the time of filming. So you guys, um, yeah, you rock. Subscribe. I'll leave a com uh, or I'll leave a link in the description. But you guys, please leave comments on all of my content because it really does help me out in the algorithm. And uh, yeah, I will catch you on the next one. Vare, thank you for sending me this watch and sponsoring this episode. And uh, thank you to all the brands that that support me for these micro brand Monday segments. We can't do these micro brand Mondays without the support and sponsorship of these brands. So a uh, round of applause to the companies that uh, keep wanting to be involved. All right. We love you guys. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. <laughs>